When the Longhorns take the field for their first practice of the fall, they'll do so without the man who has been a constant presence around the program, the practice field's namesake, Frank Denius. Man, he was just, a legend is an understatement for him. We, we got the opportunity to pass by him every day at practice, and we, we would all go up to him and say hello. I'll give him a big hug because he's just a source of pride for the Longhorn community. What he's given to the university, what he's given to the football team, what he's given to our country is just tremendous. And for him to sacrifice his time to be out there to support us every day is spectacular. He was a great symbol of what the University of Texas stands for. It's going to be a little bit heartbreaking. I've been here for a long time now, and he's always been there, always been there to support us, give you a high five, smile at you when you're you know, running by him. We're going to miss him a lot. He's obviously a huge part of this university and this program. Today is special for a number of reasons. It's the first day of the 2018 season, but uh, as you guys should all know, uh, we had a great man pass away last week. His name was Frank Dinius. Okay? His name is on this practice field. Don't you, you guys that are veterans know he was here every day. Every day for practice watching you guys. That's how much he loved you. That's how much he loved burn orange and white. In 57 years, 57 years, he missed three home Texas football games. Not only did he storm the beaches of Normandy in World War II, not only did he fight in the Battle of the Bulge, for those of you that don't know, our kickoff team is actually named after him. Okay, Cobra Strike, his units that stormed the beach uh, of Normandy in World War II. These two insignias right here are the two different platoons uh, that he was in. Those of you that are lucky enough, skilled enough, trusted enough to be starters on Cobra Strike, each and every week we'll have a decal with this insignia on your helmet to honor him. So what I'd like to do right now, coaches, if you take your hat off, uh, we're going to have a moment of silence. So bow your heads, please. If what that man did and did for this country, not only for the country, uh, but for this university and this football team, he didn't get his name on our practice field for free now, boys. Okay. He gave time, effort, energy, resources to this program. So when you practice, this will stay up for as long as we can keep it up. Look at it every day when you come out and play and have your effort at practice honor his memory. 